I'm not sure if, uh, if I understand what they, their aims and goals are or whether they're even big enough to accomplish that. Now, they nationwide, that makes them big, but in every city they've got a smaller group. Now, I mean, what they're fighting for, they're fighting for a large number of people, people's rights. But I guess everybody's not able to leave their homes and come out because of their situations. A lot of people would probably like to join in on that because it, it concerns them. But I'm not able to leave my house, you know, and stay out for weeks and stuff like that because of the, uh, you know, monetary situation, family situation and all of that. So it's good that we have some people that are willing to uh, sacrifice their sales for the benefit of others, because that's what I'm seeing it as. What do you think uh, MLK would think of the 99% uh, movement? 99% movement? I think he would be for it. Because they, they're not advocating any violence of any kind. You know, so I would think he would be right in the midst of it. He probably would be the leader of it. You know, that's, that's my thoughts. From what I knew of him before, yeah, he'd probably be leading that thing over there. That thing would be huge if it was Dr. Martin Luther King. It would be huge in every city. I think that was one of the reasons why they had to put him away. Because he had he was loved by the masses. And it didn't, it not any particular race of people or anything like that. He was loved by the masses because he was true in what he was doing. And he wasn't afraid. You can't be afraid. That's one thing. You can't be afraid to do what you're gonna do. I think they were inspired by, you know, a lot of these movements. So they get out, they march, they, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, they killed the man, but they didn't kill the dream. They, they are inspired by him and the things that they're doing. They're going to be successful in what they do, too. Because the ones I spoke to, they're willing to go to limits. Lock up, they ready for that. They done already said it. They're still there. So, you know, they've been threatened with lock up already. So what are they saying? Come on, let's do it. They're gonna hold them all for the rest of their life? No. So when they get out, okay, we out, man. Let's go right back. So, you know, determination in a non-violent way can't really, you know, with the, with the numbers, you can't really do anything because that's your people anyway. I mean, it's the people anyway, so it's what they actually want. So it's the voice of the people. So if they get enough people, I mean, it's the voice of the people. What do you think they want? The government, like they said, is a 1%. They're not the voice. They're not the people. They're just not the people. Right. What do they want? They want, uh, uh, They want equality, they want, uh, they want to have a say so as a people and not just the corporations getting together and, you know what I'm saying, they, they want to say so on what they're doing. I mean, I do, uh, I'm just one person, you know, but yeah, I want to say so.